Hello friends, welcome to the Maimonides Mitzvah Moment. It's been a while since we featured uh, Dove. Where have you been? I've been around. I guess our stars haven't crossed in the, uh, in the skies. I'm telling the truth, you've been slacking. That, that too. <laughs> okay, give us the Mitzvah of the day. Chalitza. The Mitzvah of Chalitza. And <clears throat> that uh, follows directly after uh, the, the uh, Mitzvah that we studied uh, in the previous lesson. We talked about Yibum. So Yibum is a situation where you have a couple that is married, and sadly, the husband passes mm. in the absence of any children. It's a leveret marriage? You got it. Yeah. That's Yibum. So Yibum is when the Torah tells us that there is an, there is an obligation for the, for, the, uh, for the surviving brother of the deceased individual to marry his brother's widow. Mm-hmm. And if they if they're in the position to do so, and uh, have children and perpetuate the memory of the deceased man by uh, creating offspring and a, and a legacy for the brother who has departed, that is the right. mitzvah of yibum leveret marriage. Mm-hmm. Today's mitzvah chalitza is um, in recognition that sometimes it's not always going yibum is not always going to work. So what if there's a situation where there is a surviving, again, same situation, if, if, uh, father, the, the, the husband dies, no children, there is a brother. Mm-hmm. However, it's not practical for whatever reason for the surviving brother to marry uh, the widow, right. his sister-in-law. Uh, so then, there, first, uh, um, again, ideally they should do Yibo. Mm-hmm. If that's not practical, then before this woman goes off and marries somebody else, they need to do chalitza. So that's the, 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 it's a positive mitzvah, the mitzvah of chalitza. What is chalitza? It's a very, very, very bizarre process in which they go to the basin, the, this widow and her brother-in-law, and he uh, wears a shoe. The shoe gets removed. She's got a spit. <laughs> I told you it was bizarre. Yeah. And, um, and it's a symbolic uh, ceremony, but a halachic ceremony. And it's only through this through this mitzvah of chalitza, that the woman, uh, prior to chalitza, there's kind of this bond, this bind that uh, between the woman and her and her brother-in-law, and through chalitza, she's free to go off and do her own thing. And again, so when this unfortunate situation happens, there's a choice of either, one of these two mitzvahs to be performed, either yibo, and right. the marriage, and if that's not practical, then they do chalitza. I see. Okay. Yeah. And uh, may everybody be well and have lots of kids. And uh, we should just study about Yibam and Khalid right. and not have to perform these exactly. mitzvahs.